Last one was kind of boring. I'm sorry for that. Um, we're going to play another map. So let's, uh, this is the stuff we're going to use. I'm going to use this trailer and this truck. I made the power better on this truck and the actual axle work. It still has a lot of issues. I'm not even worried about that. And the camera inside. I haven't messed with it too much. Like I said, I haven't put time in it much. I just changed some stuff in the script and got it to work. Might probably five minutes worth of stuff. So it's not a big deal. I mean, it's nothing. I brought my equipment over from the other map. Well, actually, it's still another map. I just went ahead and put it in the uh, vehicle, whatever. And I sold the skid steer so I could buy... I don't know. Oh, that trailer. That's right. Because I didn't have it in the game. I bought this trailer. That's how I have 16,000. So let's go ahead and load the skitter up and the feller buncher. Alright, so this is loaded up on here. Let's go ahead and load this up now. I could just cut them with the other thing, but I kind of want to use a feller buncher for a, a minute and see how it works. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me move this thing out of the way. Alright, so that's moved. Um, get this. Alright, now we have to try to figure out where we're going. I was playing earlier on the map and uh, I knew exactly where I was going but then I reset everything well I reset the trucks on here and I haven't started out from here I did it the last time there so. I think what I'm gonna do oh uh, that's right I went that way before let's uh, go a different way because we're gonna have an issue in this truck is having issues but in real life this probably would not happen or it might happen but you'd have problems stopping so we'll just make the best of this all right it looks like the bridges are all too small to go across or pretty close well that one may not be but we're going to try to make it across the creek i doubt this would happen in real life too Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're stuck. Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and just get this thing here. And go relieve everything. Yeah, see the uh, bridge is too, would have been too small. What's up with all these trains? My gosh. Well, we're going to try to do this here. I don't know how this is going to work. So, probably what I should have done was offloaded them but I don't know we'll just we we'll see what's going on here um, yeah I think I'm just gonna offload them I'm going to offload this a lot of hassle to be doing some logging let me tell you up <clears throat> all right now let's see if we can get this up out of the creek oh my Break the little feet off. <laughs> well, let's see if this works. I 
like that, it will. Oh well, we'll just uh, see if we can glitch it out here. Alright, there's that. There we go. Oh my gosh, always goes to like the last one. Oh, I don't know what that was all about. Alright, I'm gonna pull this out here now. Now we'll be able to load stuff up and take it over there. Hopefully this thing will pull itself out. Yeah, it should. Monorail things. Get electrocuted right now. Bzzz. Not really, but could have been. All right. Load this thing up too. All right, I have it loaded up. Let's uh, try to make our way down this little road with trees in the way. We're gonna go on... Uh, actually, we should go down that way. Oh, if I can stop here. Uh, I guess we'll just stop here and we'll offload. Because there's like mud down there. And some trees in the way. Alright. Let's go ahead and offload. We're just gonna park this truck, this uh, skidder right over here. And then we're going to offload this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go get the semi. We're gonna pull it over. up with these roads like it's like a little horse trail or something I don't know it's kind of weird uh, hopefully I can do this I don't know obviously not okay so that's one downfall of this is that the bridges are turned too narrow and then when you do find a place there's like little markers it's in a way like little like worker markers like they're blocking off like cones basically uh, that will block the roadway oh no I think someone's already in here cutting that was pretty cool wasn't it okay so now we're gonna find a place to turn around here and get the rest of the equipment over here. All right, let's just go on down this way and see what's on down here. Oh, there's some frogs. Oh, I should have turned up in there. And there's a cuckoo clock. Oh, can I go this way? No. Let's go ahead and this way and find out what's going on up in this area. Alright. That's cool.
Okay, so, um, yeah, that's those markers I was talking about. So, we can go actually go the back way. That's cool. I didn't know that. Awesome. I have my graphics on very high, so that's the map doing that when you see it, like, uh, loading textures or whatever. Actually, we're not going to take that yet. We're just going to take the wheel loader. The wheel loader and that big uh, excavator looking thing. Alright, that works. Let's uh go over there and get the button top. Alright, I have it loaded up. Now let's take it over. Shut the back up. This way they don't go scooting off of there. Probably gonna wait for this truck. Oh no, it's getting a little squirrely. Let's hit some ice. Oh. Alright. We're just gonna work our way through. Alright. Let's get that off of here. Go ahead and take this on down. Over here to the loader. Okay, so I'm not real sure. I might just clear a place out. Uh, this looks pretty good though. Let's try that. Uh, let's leave that on the thing. Let's go ahead and cut some trees here. So we'll just lay it down. We'll try to get them as close as we can to the bottom. Because we'll have stump issues here like that one there. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking of ways to redo these filler bunchers a little bit to make them more, you know, better to uh, use, like a, easier to use and stuff like that. So that's why they're not all, I don't know, hard to find a cut place. And they ain't all trying to, you know, cut stump. I ain't this way. The stumps will be cut up all the way up to the top, or cut off at the top. My bad. Can't even talk. That's what I'm talking about. It's like really hard to get it to like no it's there. Alright, maybe that tree just is like busted. I think it is. I bet there's is there anything even there for it? I guess there is, but I don't know I understand it. 
wouldn't let me cut it. Huh. I guess something. Alright, I think I'm not going to cut too much more with this. Uh, I'm going to skid some, then we'll go ahead and get the pond scorpion. Because... I don't feel like chainsawing them. That's just not how I do. Because this is kind of it's kind of boring, and I can get pretty much closer to the ground with it than I can the fellow buncher at the moment. Yeah. So see, it's just just a lot of, uh, and then we have this issue here. So. So I'm going to go get it, and then we'll uh, do some cutting and skidding and stuff like that. Alright everyone, I uh, decided to load some logs on the trailer over here. And then I just parked that up there. And I'm going to just cut some of these other trees out with the ponds. So let's skid these other ones up to the loading deck thing. I'm not sure what's wrong with this claw, but it takes forever to spin. Alright, so let's go ahead and just try to skid some of these up. Some of these stumps are kind of messed up. Uh, like, those tall ones, are they're pretty much messed up because you try to cut them lower, it won't activate the cutter. Um, go ahead and just, I guess, drop them here. Well, I thought that was going to. I like that chainsaw noise, except for after you hear it for about 30 minutes, it kind of gets annoying. Sounds realistic, but just the idea that just it's not. All right. Let's see if I can grab this log up here. I'm gonna modify this thing. I'm tired of waiting for people. I'm sorry, guys. If you all think I still mods and stuff, but I, like I said before, I don't see the need to put out four mods the same with just one little thing different I tried to get it right the first time and I understand that's really hard to do because a lot of times you get tired of working on the same thing and you just want to hurry and just move on to something else but I mean this thing works really good except for when you go to try to pinch your lugs it they slip out and you can't get a bunch I like that first day reviews log skitter Except for, you know, I mean, it looks really cool and everything. I like how it grabs logs and so on. But I wish it was, looked more like this, had dual wheels and had these features, you know, like this. The clamp is the only thing that's really good on that first day reviews, like, that I like. And a lot of people like that, likes that. And I like that too. It's easy to use. It works good. This one works good, except for... You can only grab one log at a time, and someone said that that's how it is in real life. Uh, not always. That's just my opinion. But a lot of times these guys have to try to push their machines more than they can actually are meant to, to handle. Because if not, then they can't pay the bills, and then there's uh, their equipment goes bye-bye. Because that's why a lot of these guys haul oversized loads they'll take a chance of getting a high ticket because if not they're not making nothing they're just you know they're not getting nothing at all and a lot of people doesn't understand that some of these big semis only get like five miles a gallon even that they are diesel but they just don't get a lot ain't like a pickup okay See, this is what I'm talking about. I guess I'm setting up, yeah, I'm setting on the log. 
Alright, how do I... How do I get this thing down? There we go. Let's go and just do that. And I don't really understand the purpose of this thing taking so long to uh, twist around. Not sure what the concept of that is. You know what, I'm not even using this thing. I will use this when I get it fixed. Meantime, I use this thing. At least I can grab some logs with it, I think. If they don't work their way out. This one's kind of got problems too. I think I'm going to go in and try to fix that sometime soon. Because you try to uh, turn the log or something and it's too big and it sits there and does that little dancing thing. Alright. Now he's a little shorter. Oh well. Pretty crooked too. Right, let's try to go ahead and load these up. Oops. I got my buttons right here. That'd be good. Oh. I'm not sure why it does that. Maybe it's that collision stuff. I, I don't know. I don't think it is, though. Because if that's the case, then everything... All, everything on the game would be popping out of the log holders and everything. Drop that one over there. Okay. Oops. Go that way. Hopefully it settles in there. Yep, it's settled in there. All right. Now we'll get this one. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to go in and take that chainsaw sound out. I don't like that chainsaw sound. Because I've been messing with this for about 30 minutes to an hour. Just goofing off, getting stuff set up. And I've been hearing that, and that does get annoying after a while. And it's really loud, too. It's like, no matter what I do with my game sound, it just stays the same sound. I'm going to call that a load because uh, I'm afraid if I get too much on it, it'll start rolling off. But we'll get one more. Now we can get this one on here. Anyway guys, if you guys hear a bunch of uh, banging and dogs barking and people talking, I'm not going to edit this out. This is going to be your all footage. I'm not going to take the time because 
I use that cheap little Windows Movie Maker thing, and then when I, re when I record in 60 frames per second on my game, and when I go to edit it on there, it will sit there and skips, and it will cut out every two seconds, so it pauses every two seconds, or, you know, like shutters or whatever every two seconds. So that's why a lot of my videos have been not edited out and stuff because I don't feel like buying Adobe Premiere and stuff at the moment. I was going to, but I will wait. So if that, so that's why a lot of my videos is, has not been edited real good. And only ones that don't really affect that is if they're like low detail games or if I run it in 30 frames per second but then it's blurry and I like to it bugs me when it's blurry like that because I know how clear it is on the game and when it's not clear on the game like that on the video then it really bugs me and there's no point watching something if it's gonna be blurry at 1080p so you guys can just put up with that for a little while if you can and then I will take and fix that sometime soon the editing thing because right now if anybody records they can probably understand what I'm talking about so it's basically like someone sitting there pushing play pause play pause play pause play pause like every two seconds and that's what it's like so it's really hard to edit a video so if I want to edit something I have to watch it and then I have to go through and find it in the thing in the editor and then I have to try to chop it out the best I can it's just a lot of work it takes so if I have a 40, 40 minute video I'm working on the thing for about two or three hours because and then I have to wait two or three hours to upload it because it's how long it takes for a long video so let's haul these logs up I'm not sure exactly where they go there's no lock load thing on here oh yeah that's right this is that screwed up Okay, I'll, I'm going to go fix the cameras and stuff on this track, and I will be back. So I'm going to save it. All right, everyone, I just, uh, I try to fix some of the stuff, and it's just too busted to fix it in five minutes. So I'm going to, I'll mess with it, and I'll get this truck fixed pretty much the way I want it. And I'll probably put it out there, but someone will say I stole it, but I don't care if they would just fix, if someone would fix it. Okay, this is how I look at it. If, if they don't, fix it the right way the first time or within a few weeks then they're probably done with it and I'm not gonna sit here and wait for months or years to even wait for the original modder to fix it and another thing I look at is if you don't really like it being modified or used don't put it out just keep it for yourself don't video it don't do nothing don't share it with the world just keep it to yourself that's how I look at that everyone can just like that that's just my opinion everyone has their own opinions and that's just mine because I get oh you stole that mod I know you're still in mods you're still in this you're still in that. I get that a lot no I get asked to do something or I like it my you know for myself and if you're gonna show something off you ought to just go and share it with everybody there's no point of showing it off and then keeping it to yourself it's kinda like saying haha I have that you're never gonna get it and it's just really annoying and very unfair because if you're going to show it off, share it with everybody. If you're not going to share it with nobody, don't show it in no videos, don't show it anything, don't talk about it, don't do nothing about it. And pretty much, I will show something when it's pretty much done. This truck ain't done. It has lots of work, a lot of work to be did to it to fix it. Uh, so pretty much if if you see something in my videos it's either being worked on or hasn't been worked on really or it has been and it's already ready for release and upload I ain't sure where I'm going with this I probably went to the wrong place 
I have no clue. What is this? Is that like wood chips maybe? Maybe that's wood chips. I don't know. What is that? Oh, I'm hung up. Oh, I bet that's where you put wood chips at. Wow. Yeah, I bet that's where you put wood chips. Yep. Wood chips right there. Alright, so we're going to have to find the place for the logs. Oh, I don't think I'll make this swing. Of course not. For such a narrow trailer, this thing hangs up on a lot of stuff. But it's pretty long though, too. Those cuckoo clocks. Sounds. But, oh my gosh, I'm about to wreck. No, don't wreck. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster. Disaster. That was weird, I like jackknifed or something. I ain't sure where to go with these. Let me look at my map. The map's really hard to see, just so you know that. It's like so transparent. Um, I ain't real sure. We're just going to drive around because I have no clue where to go with these. Oh, we'll go up this way. We'll lose that log first. Then we'll go up this way. Oh, that's right. I, I, I messed this camera up even worse. Ha ha ha. All I did was turn it just a little bit, and, and that's what happened. Maybe it's right there. It's probably right in front of me the whole time. Well, let's see. What is this? A narrow gate. Yay for narrow stuff. Like, a little small... Okay, this looks more like where we're supposed to go. Are you sure what's going on? Oh, I have to... Uh, seriously, I will have to... I have to pull in that little thing. Or no. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. I don't know how you're going to... Oh, I really don't know. I expect me to get in there. Even, no, there's no way. I don't know. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get in there. What in the world is this? This is a disaster. This is what this is. When I have a flat tire. Uh, now I'm hung up again. Yay. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe you can't sell logs on here. <laughs> or maybe I'm not smart enough. <laughs> or maybe this is a setup I've never seen in my life. Ever. This is retarded. I'm gonna skid one tree next time. I'm gonna find the spot wherever it's at. I'm gonna skid it up here. I don't know. This is just a shot in the dark. It's probably 
Not even where you're supposed to unload stuff at. But. They must be like have like little Priuses or something pulling mud logs in. It's the only way you get it around in here. Okay, this kind of reminds you of like the scrapyards, how they used to be. You have like, they have all this place they could clean out so you can circle around, but no, they want you to back in this one little dinky ass spot that has sh jagged metal and stuff stuck all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is, this is retarded. Alright, so I re just reset the game because, or restarted it because I couldn't get the thing back in there and by the time I got it kind of around my logs is all flopping around off there but anyway I looked right about here we'll see what this does here because there's no place that indicates a place to offload your logs okay see I don't know what's going on but this map has funky things they try to eat your trailer try to swallow it I don't know. I have no clue where to offload. You gonna offload them in there? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go pick through the map and see where the cell points are because uh, the map's too transparent to really see, and I'm not gonna spend 30 minutes looking for a spot that probably may not even offload you might probably have to bring a loader over and offload them anyway and I'm not gonna offload my load and then realize it's not there so anyway I'll be back all right everyone I took and uh, went in the map looked at the where the thing was there wasn't even a trigger to sell the logs it was way underneath the ground uh, not sure about the wood chips and stuff so I'm not gonna I don't know about that we're gonna try this out now I fixed the camera on this truck that was a pain so and I repainted it because I just didn't like the green I was gonna fix the tanks but I just kinda got sidetracked so let's go ahead and pull this up there uh, I'm not real sure where the roads at here I'm just gonna take a guess Oh, I added uh, exhaust particles to this truck, too. Let's, Let's go this way. Hopefully we can get across here. It's pretty, uh... Oh, my goodness. It must be some deep snow or something. Oh, no. We're gonna... We're gonna have problems here. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. this... Maybe it's a semi-trailer. Or maybe, oh, my goodness. Wow. Maybe it's just a Tatcher. I don't know. My other ones don't do this, so. I'm not sure why this is happening. Alright, so. Let's see if we can make this turn without flipping this trailer over. If it all goes well, it should be up here. Now, I think I pulled it up high enough for it to st trigger. Now, I don't know if it actually works. I don't mess with maps too much. Well, that's like a little... Uh, whatever there is. Don't even sound like that dog. Right, the right dog. I'll use it for coon dog, they're coon hunting dogs or something, yeah. Alright, so if it if it all goes well, I should be able to back right between that strips, or those yellow and black strips, and those logs right there. I don't know what's wrong with this trailer. But I'll have to flip over for some stupid reason, there we go. Ah, look, it worked. Yay. 
That's pretty good money. I don't know, that's, that's odd. I wonder why it does that. Why it wants to flip. Maybe you had too much weight on one side of the trailer. I doubt it. We'll just bash a truck. So pretty much if you want to play on this map, you have to fix it. To play on it. I will probably put this truck out. I want to do some more messing with it. But it will be out by the time this video is out. So you should be able to get everything. I'll put all the links in the description. Might be that trailer. Maybe that trailer's just messed up. Alright, so we should go down in here. I never did figure out what this place was. I think right down in here? Yes. We'd break an axle so hardcore. Oh yeah, I took these logs out too. I think I took them out. We'll find out here. Oh, no, no, they're still there. I guess I should just go ahead and just... Take them out. Well, I guess so. I thought if you put, like, non-rendering, I thought they wasn't there. But I guess not. I don't know. Like I said, I don't mess with maps too much. But, I'm going to go take them out and fix all that. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do on this one. And my next one, I will probably, not sure what I'll do. I don't know, maybe, I, I might get another couple more loads out of this and then I will, yeah, I'll do that. I think I'm going to make a, get another two loads and then I'll end the video. Anyway, I'm trying to cut this tree and it's dragging me. There we go. Now we're hung up inside the stump. Alright, so we're gonna cut this down. Of course. Now I have to get up off of here. Alright, so we're gonna buy some new stuff. I'm going to uh, try to these out and get some more money up, then I will probably sell that fella buncher over there without need it, and that might be pretty much all I'll sell. I, I might sell that willer. I don't really need it. So, and there's two things I want to buy, and we're gonna do some other stuff. Alright, everyone, I think I have this fixed the way I want it now. Seems like it, work, it works pretty good. You can actually turn the claw now. Pretty easy. I mean, it don't really dangle though, so... I don't care about that though. Oh yeah, we can open the doors up in this thing. Let's do that. It's cold outside, so let's just open the doors up. Maybe the heater works really well in this. I mean, that's that's why. Never know. I was adjusting my sound. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to grab it. Oh, that's a little baby thing. I don't want that. I like the snow, but I just don't like it because it's just kind of hard to see the logs. Alright, we can really clamp them now. Swing them around. 
I have a tail. Oh, there we go. We can just fling him over there. That's cool. Yeah, I was going to fix something else. I might do that. Or try to. Not sure. I'll do that some other time. Gonna break my claw. Oh my goodness. Oh man, look at this thing. This thing is like totally busted. It's like not even right. Alright. I might do some more adjusting on that. Oh my gosh, this thing's just rolling away. We'll just get him out this way then. <laughs> Try to at least. Oh yeah, now we're putting it to a test. Oh yeah. John Deere, John Deere power right there. That's pretty good. Now this is I'm like, if I can get my buttons right here. There we go. So that one's that one. That one's that one. That's that. Uh, that's that one. Why can't? I, oh, there we go. Duh. All right. I'll scatter them all real quick. There we go. Just gonna push this down just a wee bit. Alright. Getting better with this thing. It's not quite as hard to maneuver. Oh whoops, I gotta shut this off. I'm using manual ignition. Uh, you guys will see why soon. Very soon. Anyway, we're going to load this trailer up. Or, I'm going to load it up. And then I will be back after it's loaded. Alright, everyone. I have the truck loaded pretty good. About as good as it's going to get. Or that I want to load it because uh, I don't have much problems. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. I mean, I could load this other truck, but it's just more cutting. I could use it. We'll use that now. Yeah, we'll do that. Actually, we'll just keep stay with this one. We'll use that one another day or another time in here. Maybe it's just this trailer, or this map, I don't know. It's pretty odd, though, why it does that. We'll drive like this for a little while, see how it works out. I get around this hill. A little weight. 
That's a pretty good size hill, though. Cuckoo clock. Yeah, it's supposed to be a woodpecker, I guess, but it's a cuckoo clock. Someone hung a cuckoo clock out in the woods for the loggers. How convenient or how nice of them. They'll never miss their lunch break or anything else for that matter. Let's see if we have enough for a wood chipper. I don't think we do, but we can try it. No, we don't. We're way off. Alright. When I get the wood chipper, I'll be back. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this truck and use this truck and load up the little baby sticks and take them in. Stuff I was going to normally chip, but oh well. But we'll chip that later. So we'll start, we'll just go right here. Just park it right there. Uh, there's a stick here, I think. Hopefully I can pick these up. I don't know if I can or not. They're pretty small. That's so ridiculous. Look at that. So small. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, we flung that one. Oh, well. Wow. It happens. I don't know what that was about. Alright, you know, I think I'm just going to cut some more trees down. And just... oh, I don't know what's going on with these anyway. Alright, I have a little bit of brush here. We'll see what we can come up with. I was like, man, what's that? A little dog barking. I thought it was one of our dogs. Our dogs. So, what in the world? Was it closed? It must be closed or something. It didn't open up that time for some reason. It's odd. It's okay. I just drive through the fence like a bandit. I'm not sure with the steering, but. to work on that. That and the camera issue. My gosh. I already fixed the camera on this once. Then I fixed the go a little bit. Because it wasn't uh, I guess it didn't have no power. I don't know. I just started messing with it. Fix the smoke. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I think I'm just going to sell this truck because it still needs a little work. And so on. But first I'm going to use it to go over to the 
lumber yard, or the woods from the lumber yard, whatever. Yeah, see, it still needs a little work. It's like it got a positive track or something all the way around it. It goes pretty good, though. It's all wheel drive, though. That's the only thing. I, mean, I could fix it with the, just the back duels. But then it just uh, doesn't go good and it doesn't pull real well. I mean, it'd be like a real life one, but it won't pull like a real life one. It's very odd. I know. Sounds dumb, but it, it, that's how it is for me, or it seems like it is, so. Oh man, I just knocked the trailer off. Peeping frogs or little frogs. Okay, so I'm going to drop the trailer here. And I'm going to sell this truck. I'm just going to sell it like this. We'll see what we get for it. This one uh, uh, ain't very much, but it's enough to get the the chipper now. Yeah, I will release this chipper too. I fixed it better. No one has upgraded it for a long time. There again, it's probably not going to be upgraded, and it's quite a little different. So, I'm going to go ahead and start the truck, drop the trailer, we're going to take and go get this stuff. I have a roller trailer, a box trailer, one I'm going to release too, and a, and this chipper. Oh, I don't know what's going on with all that. Okay, so where is the, what's up here? I don't know. Where's the store at? Where's the store? Oh, it's right back here. I think it's right over here. I don't know. Not real sure. Oh my goodness. We got some ice or something? I don't know where the store is at. And these icons ain't right. So... No. Oh my goodness. Don't know why it does that. Oh, I can't get around that way. Can I drive through it? Of course not. <laughs> Alright, I figured out was that where it was at. Now this chipper is just a kind of a thing I threw together so it's not the best and perfect but it does kind of work so let's go ahead and just take the semi trailer over and this trailer I just kind of changed some stuff on it because I wanted a different color and different trailers and there was nothing out there like this color so I just, did. I mean, one of these colors might just be a little different, but I don't know. Having problems, though. We're just going to chip some wood now, I think. Alright, so I'm going to take and pull this right over here. Hmm, that's odd. Okay, so now let's go get the chipper. Alright, I have the chipper. It's just kind of a... Uh, makeshift thing I mean like just put together just for pretty much was my use uh, I've been testing it for quite a long while now trying to get it to work right I didn't want it to lock up all the time but I think I got pretty much got it fixed 
Ooh, I don't know why I just lost some frames there, but whatever. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and kill a truck. Okay, so pretty much you'll see right here. We're gonna say we took a cutter and cut around that, and that's not really inside the machine. All right, we know that. Okay, same way on this side. Uh, it still has problems and issues. I mean, I don't know if I'll release it this way or not, but I, I didn't really texture it or nothing. I just put it on there. So, you have to look past that. Oh, sorry, I had to yawn. Oh, it's weird. All right. So, let's cut some trees here and do some grinding. Oh yeah, I have to start this thing. You'll see why I have this. It's, it's more for the chipper though, to, so I can run the chipper and grind at same, you know, chip and load at the same time. All right, let's, let's cut some trees over here. I don't know what's going on here. That was odd. Alright, so we actually can just, uh... Well, we'll just try to run up here and throw some in here. We really no more having to... babysit it. I mean, like, it should honestly go in there by itself. Let's go ahead and get another one here. Should all throw pretty good sized ones in there. I don't know what this what's going on here, but whatever. <laughs> that was weird. And I will just leave it. We'll just go ahead and just drop that one in there. All right, so. Pretty much why I had that manual ignition is so I could take and just turn this truck on and I could just walk away. I gotta put the pegs down. So pretty much that's what it's gonna do. It will fall through. Some of it will fall through. I mean it's not totally 100% fast but it does work. It should hold, uh, I'm not really sure how much it holds, but... I turned the power down on it a little bit. It'll go all the way in there, and then all of a sudden it'll chip. Was, there we go. And then we have little pieces that doesn't want to go in right, because it's glitching through. But... Uh, I had it a different way. It worked kind of, but then stuff was getting choked up on it, like in the side of it. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick this up a little bit. Give it a shake. There we go. Go ahead and back it up. Okay. Now we have our claw hung. Yay! Let's go and get that un undone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go ahead and straighten this out here. Oh, maybe. I'm working, on, I'm working on other things too, so I don't know if they'll be out by the time this is out. 
but feet up. All right, so I'm gonna cut some more trees here, and we'll get some more logs and some more. Uh, chips or wood to chip all right everyone I reamped the wood chipper uh, we'll see if it works here let's go ahead and take this on over turn my sound down just a wee bit all right Try to get these out of the way. That works. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump over here and start our truck. And we'll start it. Not really sure how this will work. I'm going to test it a little bit more. See like it works. They still get stuck in the wall though. I'm not sure what that's all about. I don't know why why they get stuck in the wall. We'll just bash the side here. We'll let that one chip and then we'll just bang the side. There we go. All right. We'll place that there. Spin our claw. <laughs> we'll move some of this stuff around here. Uh, let's go ahead and just. Let's just drop that there. And start this up and we'll move this out of the way. Kill it. This truck does some kind of sliding or something on this map. Maybe because of snow, you know, in real life, you know, you just slide all around. Oh, I should open that chute. Oh my god. I have no idea what I'm doing here, just so y'all know that. There we go. Oh man, I just... Oh, there goes the nice shiny grill. Whole front end's probably smashed now. I have to get another hood. There we go. 
We have a lot in there, but I just wanted to put some in there and see. So anyway, I think I'm going to end this here because this is like over an hour long and it's going to take a while to render about an hour, a little less. You know, edit it. I, I probably will edit a little things. I'm not sure. If not, you guys just have straight raw footage, like a live stream kind of deal. Getting these frogs in my throat. No. <laughs> It's like really bad. The allergies are like really bad here. Like there's so much pollen. The vehicles are actually getting yellow from pollen because the wind blows. And when the wind blows, it's like a little misty rainstorm, but it's not. It's actually pollen flying through there. So yeah. So I'm all stuffed up. It's crazy. And it's like 80, like 85 degrees here, and it's not even, you know, the middle of May. And usually it gets about that, about the 21st or 24th of May, 25th, something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, this is Ramble 145. Uh, this is ClearCut. We're going to do another one soon because I want to show more of these mods off. I will probably do a mod review on them because I will release them. I don't care. People can say I steal them, do whatever. I'm going to still put the name that's in the mod, D-E-S-C or whatever. And most of the time, if I do a little thing, I'll put a, the name first and then I'll put mine last. It's kind of like a honorary thing. You know, honor the person that did the most work, you know first you know and if not then it's at least their names in there it's not like here lately these people just uploading mods and not putting the name in them because that really messes the community up anyway hit that like button subscribe and share thanks bye